Good day everyone. We will now solve uh, another example using the cosine law and the sine law method. So in this case, we will add vector A plus vector C. We will find the resultant vector using the sine law and cosine law method. And vector B plus vector C. Okay, so let's start with vector A plus C. So let's write the given first. So that is A is equal to 72.4 Newton. 32 degrees is of north. Well, vector C is equal to 17.8 Newton south. Okay, so so what we need first is to draw the triangle, okay, of these two given vectors. So using the head to tail method. Okay, so that is RR. So we will find later what is the resultant vector, what is the magnitude of that in Newton, and what is the angle in degrees. Okay, so we will use again polar coordinate angles for having the final answer. So what we have learned before is we can find the magnitude of the resultant vector by using the cosine law and since we are just looking for r so we will use r is equal to a squared plus c squared since we are using vector c now so 2 a c cosine gamma and square root of that okay so that will be our vector so let's write here the given so we have vector A. So what is the magnitude of A? 72.4 Newton. What is vector B? A C rather. What is vector C? 17.8 Newton. And we're looking for R. Based on the formula, okay, we have to know the two vectors, okay, two given vectors, vector A and vector C, and the gamma. So a, let's write here we don't need alpha for now same with beta but we need the value of gamma okay so we will find gamma by inspection on our triangle so here if you will look on the triangle okay so where is gamma there so this one this is alpha okay the opposite of that is here so this is alpha okay this is C, or this, the opposite of that is beta. So that one is beta. And for R, the opposite of that is this. So that is gamma. Okay? So let's write this. This is R, gamma. If we will assume that this is a right triangle, and this is a right triangle, so we'll assume the, if this is 32, this is also 32. If you are not familiar with that rule, so we can have this another method so since you are familiar familiar that a right triangle the total sides is 180 and one of one side of it should be 90 so if this is 90 if this is 32 definitely this is 58 okay so this is 58 let's write it here so this is 58 degrees now if this is 58 and definitely this is another right triangle so therefore our gamma is also 32 so that is let's write here 32 degrees by completing our given we can now solve 
our magnitude. So, let's substitute our given. So, the given R, square root of 72.4 Newton squared plus 17.8 Newton squared minus 2, 72.4. 17.8 cosine 32. Okay, so I hope you can see that one. Okay, so if we will calculate that one, so the answer is 58.38 Newton. Okay, so to check if your answer is correct, we can also go back to our other method. So, we are, we do a graphical method here. So, since that is 58.38 uh, Newton, I expect my R has a length of 5.838 cm or roughly, since this is graphical, maybe near to 6 cm okay so let's just see this is my ruler and if i will measure this one okay so it is correct because this is 50 the end of my resultant vector is near to 6 so so i can assume my answer here is correct okay so let's go now for the direction. So if you want to check more if our magnitude is correct, you can use a component method. So I will write it first, the 58.38 Newton. Now let's solve for the direction. Now for the direction, I need this theta. So let's see. So how can we solve for theta? Okay, so for the direction, it's different type of triangle we have. There are different ways on how to find that theta, okay? So there is no constant formula for, for solving theta except we will use the sine law, okay? So here, let's inspect. So what do we know here? We already know our gamma, which is 32. So I just need this one. So if you will look on this. So, if this is 32, if I know this side, which is beta, so for getting the direction I will have here, so that is my theta. Since this is 90, so we know this is 90. So, 90 degrees minus, I will add this two. So, 32 degrees plus, if ever we know beta, Okay, so if I will add this 2 and subtract it to 90, I will get theta. Okay, so I hope that is clear. So our goal is to find beta in this problem. Okay, so since that is beta, I will use a C vector over sine beta is equal to R over sine gamma and same since this is beta we know that sine beta is equal to c sine gamma over r and we have to move sine on the other side so that will be arc sine so beta is equal to arc sine so that will be C sine gamma over R. And let's substitute the given. So sine. What is C? So C is 17.8 Newton sine gamma. That is 32 degrees divided by R is 58.38 Newton. 
Okay, so I have to note that if you are incorrect in your value for R, you are also going to be uh, incorrect for solving your beta since you will use the value of R in this method. Okay, and we will use the calculator. Okay, uh, there is just correction calculator because my calculator is in region. So therefore, when I solve this one, uh, calculator should be in degrees so I forgot to change it so I have sent to corrected that the answer should be 58.08 Newton not this one okay and now in solving for the magnitude I also have to note the changes in my R here so that is 58.08 and now, if I will solve this, the answer is 9.346, so that is 35 degrees. Okay, so if I will substitute here, so that will be 90 degrees minus 32 degrees plus 9.35 degrees. Okay, so that is 90 degrees minus 41.35 degrees and theta now is 48.65 degrees okay so that is my angle let's check if my angle here in graphical method is the same or roughly the same to this solution okay so here if I will measure this, so coming from positive x, okay, so this is my r, and this is 50, okay, I think my answer is correct, so this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, this is 50, and this is, the line is passing to 248, so I assume my answer now for my theta is correct, so I will write here. So again, I have to correct this one for my final answer. So my answer now is 58.08 Newton. And this is 48.65 degrees. Okay, so that will be for this problem.